Hey, Facebook family, welcome to the Go Big with Leanne show. And yes, I have been missing in action for a few weeks. I had a couple guests that uh, we had to reschedule. And then I just decided to take some personal time. Ha ha. <laughs> Anyways, tonight I am super excited. Uh, I have my sister-in-law, Amy Hall, on tonight. And we're, you know, the show was titled Numbers by Day and Fashion by Night because she is got a banking background and then, you know, in her spare time, she loves fashion. And my disclaimer is, yes, I'm wearing a white t-shirt. <laughs> my sister-in-law is always trying to, um, you know, uh, bring me into the fashion world. But my, I always say, well, I was in the military for 21 years. So uniforms are my thing. So fashion, I tell um, all my friends, if they made garanimals for adults, I'd be a good <laughs> <laughs> because I need the little tags if I can match the animals. So, but I have purchased a few things from Amy's boutique and I always get tons of compliments. So, um, but Amy, would you share just a few things just about you as a person? So before we get into the questions, people will just know a little bit about you. Okay. Well, yes, I do work with numbers during the day um, in a financial institution. Um, but my true love is fashion and it has been since I was a little girl. Um, when you have a grandparent that takes you shopping all the time and buys you not just the outfit, but the shoes to go with it, you know, you kind of grow up with that. And um, um, I like seeing people happy with what they wear. I think, um, you know, when you feel good um, in your clothing, it projects to everybody else. And um, we're all different sizes. So I just want everybody to feel good with what they're wearing. Yeah, so that's, that's, awesome. that's my love. That's my passion. Yeah. Um, I always, I, when I'm out and about, I think about, you know, I'm 53 and a half. And I think, I wonder what I'm going to be wearing when I'm 70. And I, then I tell myself, probably the same thing you're wearing now, Leanne, shorts and t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. Um, because like I said, you know, I have a sister-in-law that can help dress me up every now and then. Um, <laughs> so, which, which is great. And she also is um, really good with design in the house. So she's helped me pick out colors in my house. And so it's a, it's a good reminder to me that we all have our, our uh, skill sets, our gifts and talents, and that we're all in this together. So um, right. I'm good at some things and Amy's great at, at lots of things. And so together we can make a good team on, you know, doing projects together. Um, so I know originally when you first started, you know, kind of going down this path of an online boutique, um, it really didn't start off as a desire to do an online boutique. Right. You kind of wanted to have a storefront. Um, yes. But so what what transpired from, you know, going from, you know, wanting to have a storefront to um, having an online boutique? Well, one thing is my husband is self-employed and two of us self-employed, um, you know, and insurance is a little expensive. So one of us has to work <laughs> and it would be me. Yeah. So the other option was to do a online boutique. Um, the brick and mortar, you know, it is expensive and it would have been a blast having people come into the store and, you know, meeting people that way. But I have really met a lot of people over Facebook. I have clients from Florida and, and Minnesota and, and all over that I feel like we've been friends forever. Um, they, they do buy quite a bit from me and we, you know, converse back and forth. Um, but the, the online boutique has been great. Um, I don't have the overhead. I don't have to price my items, you know, $10, $20 higher than everybody else. I try to keep the prices very reasonable for people. Um, and the quality, uh, just like any of the boutiques, I think if you would ask any of them, you don't know some of the quality until you order it. And I've had some things I've been disappointed in. And then there's things that, are, you know, that vendor's gonna be on my list to order again because the quality is good. And um, I like getting those uh, comments uh, in Messenger that, hey, I, I got my new shirt today and I just love it, you know, that makes me feel so good. It really does that people are happy. And I've had people send me pictures and, and um, you know, and it's, it's funny, I'll get on Facebook and not even talk about the boutique and I'll be scrolling through and they're so-and-so and hey, I recognize that shirt. 
<laughs> they got it from you. <laughs> yes, it looks good. Yeah. yeah that, so that's, that's, awesome. that's, that's the fun of it. Yeah. yeah. And it's probably, um, you know, you didn't, we, none of us knew what was going to happen in 2020, but um, you're probably now thanking your lucky stars that you didn't necessarily yes. go down to a, you know, a physical store because, you know, you really, you haven't had to shut your store down or, no. or anything. Maybe some of the shipping has been delayed and things like that, but you know, the, the, the shopping experience hasn't changed much, you know, for you or your customers. So right. yeah, that's, so that's good. Sometimes, yeah. you know, we don't know what life's going to bring us. And we're like, oh, I'm pretty, pretty smart. I made a good decision. Here. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I just think it's, it's one of those things where, um, you know, I can do it from anywhere. Right. You know, I, I can, I can sit in my pajamas and, and order, order stuff or talk with somebody on the phone or through Facebook. And, um, you know, I don't have to physically be in a store and then the overhead and everything. So this works out just perfect for me. Yeah. So uh, how do you, um, you know, because I have zero fashion sense and that's no, that's no big surprise to anybody in my family. But so how do you do you research what's in style, the trends? Um, how do you go about, you know, the ordering process, to, you know, so you're not stuck with a bunch of duds? So is there is right. there a process that you go through? Well, I have probably... There's thousands and thousands of vendors. I have three different, um, I don't know what I want to call them. They're, they're websites, but within that website, there's manufacturers and distributors. And so I can go through and like I said, there is probably 20, 30,000 pieces of clothing to try to go through. And that is no joke. Right. So right now I've gotten it down to where um, if I see something I like, and I usually try to look at all the new things that are coming out because I'll have new updates pretty much weekly. And I'll go out and I'll look at it. And if I like it, I might order one or two items from that vendor just to see the quality. Um, and then that'll tell me whether I want to order again or not. Um, the other day I ordered from a company that um, I hadn't ordered from and I ordered a cardigan and a sweater and they came in and I was really, really, really happy with the quality on those. And that's what I want to give to my customers because I want, if I would buy it, then I know they'll buy it. And so I want that quality um, there. I've even done deliveries around Wichita. And I know there's there's one gal that I met um, and she was telling her friends, well, Amy does deliveries. <laughs> but you know what? In this time, that doesn't bother me so much to do it once in a while because it's getting me out of the house. I work from home now. I've been working from home since mid-March. So to get out and actually visit with people and take them that shirt or whatever they purchased has been great. And it gives them somebody to kind of talk to too. So right. that's been a good deal. So is there a certain um, like style that you would say your boutique is kind of around? Um, <sighs> Probably just more of... Um, kind of the relaxed fit. I mean, more, some things, yes, you could wear to work depending on um, what kind of job you have. Um, but mostly your everyday fashion, um, t-shirts and blue jeans, um, sweaters and cardigans. The joggers are really popular this year. And a lot of people are really liking those. And you know, those you can dress up. You can put a t-shirt with it, or you can put a little, uh, shirt and a little jacket with it and some boots and dress them up. So um, the fashion this year is, is really fun because it's, it's things that, gosh, we might have worn years and years ago and didn't even think joggers were going to be right. a fashion <laughs> thing this year. But you can take that one item and wear it so many different ways and uh, have all these different outfits with just a few pieces of clothing. Yeah, and I, I kind of catch myself once in a while ordering a lot of printed items <laughs> and I'm kind of backing off now and going, OK, we have to have some solids in our wardrobe to yes. mix and match. So now I'm on a solid kick. <laughs> yeah, solids for people like me, too. <laughs> there, there. Well, and and, you know, um, gosh, these animal prints have been so popular and. I would have never worn an animal print. That wasn't me. I'm very just simple. And now I'm wearing animal prints. <laughs> yeah. You know, and it's just like, okay, let's just get out of your, you know, comfort zone a little bit and try to get something that um, is kind of in style. 
right? It's been fun. Yeah, yeah. That, that's awesome. I, I say that I kind of have the CSI look. I just like slacks. <laughs> if I wear, you know, it's like a slacks and white shirt or something. Because um, at work, where I work, we kind of wear uniforms. Um, so then I don't really have that much yeah. of a need for um, a lot of fashion. But I do like, I really, the one thing that is good for those of us who are not into high fashion <laughs> now, pretty much anything goes. So, yeah. and, you know, if I'm confused, I can go over to Amy's uh, Facebook page and see how other people <laughs> are wearing, wearing the items together. Or I can go on Instagram and, you know, tr fashion trends or whatever and go, oh, oh okay, that's how you put things together. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I kind of have my granimal, you know, cheat sheet <laughs> between well, Amy's uh, Facebook page and Instagram. And I have people that'll send me pictures of things. And I had one lady one night send me a picture. And she says, can you get this in your boutique? And it was a t-shirt and it had a saying on it. So I went out to my vendor site. I put it in the search engine, the words that were on the t-shirt and boom, there's that t-shirt. I sent her a message back and said, guess what? I can get your t-shirt for you. Yeah. And so I ordered it, she bought it, you know, but you know, I try to do that too. If customers want something um, special, I'll go out and search for it and see if I can't get it in for them. So what's the name of your Facebook page? Cause I know that's probably the easiest way to kind of check out. I have the website up on the screen, but you also have a Facebook page or group. Yeah. It's, join. it's just, the Backroads Boutique by Amy. Okay. Um, it be because there is some other, I think, guess Backroads Boutiques out there. Yeah. So I put by Amy so that people could find me easier and they can just join and that way um, they'll see which um, items I'm ordering in and or which ones have just come in and that I've added to the website. Um, I do have a um, five dollar flat rate shipping. So that's very reasonable and they get 10 items. They're only going to get charged $5. So, right. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Um, so I know this is something that's taken you, um, Oh, a few years to, to get to this point. Um, so what was the, you know, one thing that kept you going towards this dream or maybe, I mean, it might've been more than one thing, but what, you know, what kept you going towards your dream? Well, about eight years ago, Leanne, I was, I kind of got into doing the jewelry and doing a few vendor events around Wichita. And I remember this one lady, um, I was at one church event one weekend, the next weekend I was going to another one. And I remember her buying some stuff from me and she says, where's your next vendor event? I'm going to follow you. I like your stuff. And so I told her where it was and by gosh, she showed up and she bought again. And she was just so happy about it. It's like, oh my gosh, I found you, you know? And so I got to, you know, just doing the research and thinking about this. And um, I went back to school to get my master's degree. So that kind of put everything on hold for two years. And after the master's degree in business administration, I was like, okay, now I've got it. I'm going to do it. You know, I'm not getting any younger. Now's the time to do it. And, you know, just for anybody, if, if there's a dream that you have, don't think you can't do it. I, I started out very slow with this. I got in a few items. I made up a Facebook group page. I had 20 people for the longest time. I was like, okay, is this ever going to grow? And then I'd get in another item and they'd start responding. And then all of a sudden people were adding their friends and, and it's been a year this month. It'll be a year, but I really didn't get going with it till October. And I'm up over a thousand people. That's not a lot, but it's a lot from where I began. Right, exactly. And I, I knew that, you know, with any business, you're not going to build it overnight. And, and so it's starting to build. I'm getting more, I'm getting more people um, interested. I'm getting more items in my, my online boutique. And, you know, the more people have to pick from the better. So it just takes time. Yeah. And I'm doing it, I'm doing it out of my own pocket. You know, I didn't go out and have to get a, a business loan or anything. It's just, all me doing it by myself. Right. So. Yeah. Um, so what do you, what do you think your like biggest hurdle was um, to, to take that leap into, you know, creating the Facebook page and getting your website up and was it a personal like mental thing or what was it that, you know, was kind of that last hurdle to get you, get you really going? You know, the one thing I kept thinking about was I didn't want to fail <laughs> And 
then I kept telling myself, well, how are you going to know if you're going to fail if you don't try? Right. Am I going to pick out the right clothes? You know, um, and then the other thing was I, I didn't want to be the same as everybody else. And I'm, I'm still maybe looking for that little niche that makes me different. But I did have um, a gal tell me one day, she said, I really like your boutique. And I said, well, thank you. And she says, do you want to know why? And I said, why? She goes, because you are different than everybody else. And she says, you do have some different things. She says, some boutiques, they all have the same types of things. But she says, I've noticed you kind of slip in some different things now and then. And she says, that's what I like about it. And I said, well, you know, I appreciate you telling me that because that's exactly where I want to be. Yeah. And I, I continue. I spend hours and hours. Of course, I'm on a computer eight hours a day. And then as soon as I'm done with that, I'm on a computer again searching. And I'm constantly searching the Internet for different items. And hopefully yeah. I can, you know, eventually add some some different things, not just maybe clothing, but maybe some gift items or something. So. Yeah, I think, you know, for all of us, it's, you know, when you when we're starting off in business, the only way we only way we can really learn and find that little niche for ourselves is through experience, because if we sit on the fence and, you know, just analyze, 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 you don't you don't learn from sitting on the fence, just oh. thinking about things. That's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, I mean, Amy's been how long you've been married to my brother? 13 years. 13 years. Okay. Next and, week. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. And my brother is a fabulous um, carpenter. He does amazing, beautiful work, builds beautiful cabinets. And maybe someday he, he would, I don't know if I could ever get my brother to come on a Facebook <laughs> live, but I would love to, um, for you guys to meet him and, and learn more about his work and what he, what he does. Um, but so I know for the 13 years that I've known Amy, she's been really, you know, digging deep within herself to kind of pursue um, she's like me. We, we both like our, you know, we like, yeah. we like working our day jobs because it's important to provide for our families, you know, for the insurance and that stability. But we both have that entrepreneur spirit where we, um, want to serve our community in different ways and serve ourselves in different ways. And I, I know just watching, um, over the 13 years, Amy's grown a lot, you know, with technology and all kinds of things. So it's been fun to watch her explore, different areas. And I, my boss has always asked me, how do I know how to do all these things? I said, that's because I, you know, do entrepreneurship on the side. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Amy, I know she, you're probably the same way. You've probably learned a lot, um, you know, through, you know, trying out different businesses. And I know you do a couple other things as well. You're into health yeah. and wellness and um, you have some, you know, cool, healthy wine and, you know, clothes. Oh, yeah. so you've kind of got it all, all going. Um, yeah. But what, what would be the one advice, you know, what would you tell someone that maybe is, you know, discouraged about, you know, moving forward with their dream? You know, there's a lot of naysayers out there that just, you know, just keep going to your job, be happy. What, what would you, what would you say to them? You know, I think it's important to sit down and write down your goals and make a journal. And like I said, I, I didn't do this overnight. It, it took baby steps. And it took some frustrations and, you know, I had to try to find my website and I put my website together and, I, you know, I'm still learning. There's things on there I don't know, um, but make a list and then just start checking it off just little by little. If you need help, try to reach out to a friend or somebody that that maybe has the knowledge that you need mm -hmm. to keep going with it. Um, don't give up. I, I always say where there's a will, there's a way. And there is. Yeah, there, there is. definitely is. You know, find someone that um, has had the success that you're looking for. You know, and the good thing about, there's a lot of negative things about social media, but one of the good things is you can kind of be a stalker yeah. <laughs> of the person, you know, and you can find some really good mentors online right. and watch their behaviors and learn from them. Um, so you can get a lot of free coaching, you know, through following wow. the right people. But then at the end of the day, you know, it's Amy and myself that ha we have to do the work. We can yeah. we can learn and learn and learn, but we have to be willing to put in the work to to make our businesses successful. Um, so, um, yeah, it's cool to just watch people grow. And uh, yeah, I mean, it is. 
it's I didn't I didn't realize it was almost your one year anniversary of the boutique. Yes. So, so we timed we timed this perfectly. I know. I know. Yeah, I actually started in September, but I didn't start um, actually with the state of Kansas. Uh, they pushed it back to October um, for my start date, you know, collect sales tax and stuff. But um, yeah, and then I had to wait for items to come in and, and COVID now has really slowed things down. I I've had, I go out and look at my list of all the things I've ordered and, you know, back ordered, back ordered, back ordered. And eventually I had one like that was, I ordered in July. Well, I don't want it now. You know, it's, <laughs> so yeah. I emailed them cancel order because I want to get things in and get them going. And I'm, I know yeah. I'm not the only uh, boutique or business having that issue, but I'm trying to get in what I can. Yeah. Keep going. And, and I think, you know, one of the things that uh, is a little bit outside your comfort zone, but I know you're going to start doing maybe yes. some, some little fashion shows on Facebook Live. Oh. So you definitely want to become part of um, the Backroads Boutique by Amy yes. on Facebook group so you can see um, not only the clothes on, you know, the pictures of the, you know, the models, the skinny models. <laughs> models, but, you know, Amy will, you know, showcase some of the items and then just hold them up and tell you more about the material. And because I know for myself, you know, um, I'm not a big shopper to begin with, but a lot of us like to, you know, touch things and sense them. So we'd have to do that, you know, through you. Um, right. So right. I'm excited to see Amy jump into that, you know, a zone that's a little bit uncomfortable for her to do the live. <laughs> Yeah. It, it, well, yeah, I got the ring light the other day and I did yeah. one little one on my page. So we're, we're going and I've got another outfit ready to go too. So we'll get there. All right. That's, that's exciting. I was so proud of her when I saw it. I was like, yes. I know. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Finally, yeah. a year later, see, you just got to take the baby steps. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's, you know, that's part of the reason why I do this show is um, so that, you know, my tagline is empowerment through connection and so all of us need to connect with each other and be inspired by each other. And as you see, you know, Amy kind of go through her journey, it will inspire you to take that step that you've been scared to death, holding back to take. And, and maybe you see me take some action steps. And I think, you know, as we connect with each other and we connect, you know, with resources, people, places and things, our life just becomes um, much more fulfilling and beautiful and um just, I don't know, I don't want to use the word magical, but it just feels so much better to have. And I think a lot of us now really have um, a new appreciation for uh, authentic connection. And, you know, so I, you know, I still love face to face, but I'm, you know, trying to do what I can via, you know, Zooms and StreamYard, the, the software that I use here to still continue to connect people with those people, places and things that, uh, maybe the missing puzzle piece for their next step in their dream. So, Amy, I appreciate you your willingness to come on the show. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. And so any final words for the audience before um, we sign off for the evening? Oh, you're bleeping out. Uh oh. Any final words do you have for the audience? Any final words? Yeah. Any final words? <laughs> Well, you know, if anybody is interested in starting anything and you need help or advice, you know, maybe it's not a boutique, maybe it's something else. I would be glad to to help you or talk to you about a website or whatever you need. Um, I think it's important that we all step out and help each other. And um, I hope you all come over to my Facebook page group, uh, check out my website. And um, thank you, everyone, for your support. And thanks, Leanne. Yeah. And we'll close off tonight. If you guys have any um, questions or anything, just throw them in the comments if you're catching the replay. Um, and I'll, I'll put Amy's um, Facebook page link in the comments um, so you guys can find it easy. And thanks for being here tonight. And I will be back on Thursday night with Susie and we're going to talk about how to start a meditation practice. So if anybody is um, wanting to learn a little bit more about meditation, that's what we'll be talking about Thursday night. So, Amy, thanks again. Everyone have a great evening and take care. Thank you. You bye -bye. too. Bye-bye.